Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Moneywood following Ford Financial. Uh, just an update here on Tesla. Um, back to making some videos today. Haven't talked about Tesla in a while. Um, a lot of info going on with uh, Tesla these last couple days. So found a bunch of info on Tesla, but I have uh, made videos in the past. I uh, have. Uh, uh, I think 20, 30 shares of Tesla altogether now, so just uh, should have bought some back when it was in the uh, 150s, but it's just been kind of up and down all over the place. 170s here it peaked in March at 207 and then dropped. That would have been the time to have bought in, so sold here and rebought and kept it. Um, but I didn't, so. But here you can see what it's done over the, hasn't done much over the past year. It's actually down, so uh, it doesn't really hurt my feelings. Um, that way I can buy some more. Back in December would have been the best buy on it. So, But it, as you can see, it kind of peaks, and then it just drops off like it does. So peaks and drops off. So not too great in the past year it's actually in the green in the past three months not much two percent here in the uh, past month would have been the time to have bought in on this one and then you'd had a 22 23 percent return six and a half percent in the last week and we'll see what it does here today so yeah it kind of peaked and i'm sure everybody was selling out and then goes back down so it's always been volatile. I put off buying into this one for quite some time, so uh, if you don't know much about Tesla, feel free to read that. I'm not going to read it. Um, Elon Musk is the CEO, founded in 2003. Market cap of $631 billion. High today of 202 low of 198 so you get a couple dollars swing in there if you wanted to trade it so opened at 199 fell back went up and now it's back so 52 week high of 314 and a low of 101 so quite a bit of volatility in there 48 percent buy so not too bad and next earnings is expected on July 19, so from now through July. Uh, this is an older account. These shares have been moved uh, elsewhere. Um, but and then that was a partial share, but uh, moving on, got a bunch of info over here on the Microsoft Bing, currently showing it as a buy with a uh, price target of 198, and it's already above that, but could fall back down so China's commerce minister meets Tesla's Musk promises support to foreign companies as you can see this is just dated here today so commerce minister met uh, Tesla CEO Musk on Wednesday and promised to support the development of foreign companies the ministry said Musk earlier met the China's Ministers of Industry and Foreign Affairs. He joined a series of CEOs and global companies, including Apple, who have met the uh, cabinet officers for the Premier Ling, the top economic official. So we'll see what that does to the uh, stock price. So investor interest in China's uh, slow slowing economy and reassure companies that have been rattled by the anti-monopoly data security crackdowns raids consulting firms so all kinds of stuff going on there's a political cartoon so United States and China should strengthen economic and trade dialogue and cooperation under the guidance of principles of mutual respect Peaceful coexistence and win-win cooperation, Wang was cited as saying. Moving on, I thought this one was interesting. I'm going to be doing a video on NVIDIA also. Is NVIDIA the new Tesla for investors? NVIDIA's been going crazy lately. It is beginning to look like Tesla a few years ago before its share soared. 
like Tesla, which had EV technology to change the automobile industry, then NVIDIA, now the graphics processing unit, GPU, the uh, chips, the core of the graphics computing and networks and solutions behind the gaming industry, data centers, autonomous vehicles, and artificial intelligence. So we're going to be doing some videos on AI here today as well. NVIDIA enjoys multiple advantages like innovation, leveraging its core competent com to address fast-growing emerging markets, solid alliances with technology leaders like Microsoft and Amazon. Microsoft and Amazon, Google, quite a few stocks were uh, riding the wave of NVIDIA with the AI, so... Strong following of the company among technology enthusiasts and early adopters. Uh, they are ready to bring these technologies to the masses, stirring the hype in the Wall Street for NVIDIA shares. But it's the stock. It's expensive. Expensive and a pricey stock like um, Microsoft, NVIDIA. That's why I don't have much NVIDIA, because it is a pricier stock, but um, as you can see, what it's been doing lately, and like I said, I'll be doing a video on it later. Um, last week, I believe Thursday, it went up $80 after hours, so uh, expensive or not, you still get a pretty decent return, but at a forward P of 84, NVIDIA stock overvalued compared to other tech stocks like Apple, Google. Microsoft, which traded a fraction of the valuation. I just thought that was an interesting article. Um, maybe go more into that when I do my NVIDIA video later. Tesla protester from Shanghai Auto Show 2021 lost another lawsuit against company report. The Tesla customer who protested uh, standing on a car at the Shanghai Auto Show in 2021 portably lost another lawsuit against the automaker. Said that her father had an accident in February 2021 while driving a Tesla Model 3 due to a brake malfunction. Uh, Tesla, however, has maintained that the uh, driver was speeding. So it sounds very interesting. I mean, you could blame any automaker that the brakes don't work, not just Tesla. So that's just hearsay. Tesla is not responsible for any reputational damage that may have suffered, a Chinese court said and reported by China-based platform Techno. So very interesting. Tesla is doing something it has never done before. I don't think that I've ever seen a blue one. All the ones that I see here in town, I believe, are red. The majority of them are white. I don't think I've ever seen a blue one. So if you've seen a blue one, put that in the comments. So one of the reasons Tesla has been a trendy stock pick is its tendency to break all the rules established by traditional automakers, whether by solely offering electric vehicles, EVs, forsaking the dealer, network model using a non-union workforce or not advertising Tesla has disrupted the auto industry. However, Tesla is about to uh, back away from one item it has consistently not done, advertise its products. So how this will affect Tesla and should investors be worried? Tesla has a basic message to get out. Annual shareholder meeting will try a little advertising and see how it goes. As investors, uh, this could be seen as a huge red flag or a kind of small green flag. So you can put that in the comments whether you think uh, advertising Tesla is worth it or not. So I don't know. I mean, they've gone this far without advertising. I see all kinds of other car commercials. So I don't know. You never know what could happen. So Elon's in the news enough, and that creates a lot of buzz around Tesla, so that's all the advertising I think you need, but Tesla's stock jumps 4% as Elon uh, makes first visit to China in about three years. Uh, this came out uh, yesterday. Tesla stock rose 4% on Tuesday as excitement uh, built to the chief executive officer uh, Elon Musk visit to China 
its first in about three years. Analysts uh, said the visit comes at a key time for the EV maker as it braces the challenge from Chinese EV companies operating in the biggest EV market in the world. Uh, I've made videos in the past, Xping, Neo, uh, quite a few videos. Um, all of my EV stocks are in the red, I believe, so just keep them. Don't sell them. That's what I do. Uh, not that I give tax, legal, or trading advice, just stating my opinion, but we would expect uh, Musk to spend most of his visit around the key Shanghai Gigafactory plant, which uh, remains in the hearts and lungs of the Tesla production globally. So, over here on uh, Reddit, what type of bump can we see Tesla license its FSD to Ford? So. The big talk lately is Ford is going to be using Tesla's superchargers, so I don't know what kind of deal they have going or what it's going to cost Ford, but I thought that was kind of interesting. Lucid stock hasn't done squat. Ford's deal to use Tesla charging connector and superchargers could kill. Ford's surprise partnership with Tesla looks like a deal with the devil. It's actually a stroke of genius. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe they'll partner up. Uh, maybe Musk will just buy Ford. So he's got enough money. If you look at the market caps, he could probably do it. So Over here on uh, StockTwits, currently at $197.06. Target price, first 207, pivot must hold, then 235. Maybe it's going to keep going up. So, um, when it hit the 200s before, I was thinking about selling. I wish I would have now and bought in the 150s, uh, but that would be a perfect day. And don't have perfect days around here too much. So, and over here on MSN. Currently at $197.06. I don't know why this one's taken forever to load, but you can see the volume's been up a time or two and the market cap. I was trying to get to the ratings, but it's not going to come up. So that's it that I have on uh, Tesla. As you can see, I have the uh, bounce at the 202 and drop back down. So we'll see if it goes back up. Or if it stays below the line like it has been. So it's just been kind of all over the place, but it has been going up in the past week. So if you have any other info on uh, Tesla, you can leave that in the uh, comments. And um, I'll be making some other videos on uh, some other stocks here later today so I'll be watching for those uh, but that's it on Tesla if you haven't smashed that like button yet go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop again this is Dre Money Falling Forward Financial happy trading happy investing stay green cheers